Hello everybody, welcome back to Orange Go. I'm Orange, and today I am, I guess, making this a two-parter. Wasn't meant to be one, literally wasn't, uh, but apparently I had too much going on for my powers, my, my surge protector, so it turned off. It, it just shut everything down. I've had my PS4 and my computer on and even played a few bot matches of this recently. Perfectly fine. As soon as I make a video, that's when it has too much going on, and then it, it so... Um, assuming the video covers at least what I did, uh, I, I was looking at, I looked at Billy's add-ons, I looked at Sadako, and then I was looking at, uh, Blight, so let's just resume that, let's just resume. Where was I? Um, use maximum rush, to maximum rush tokens, decrease maximum look angle, decreases turn rate while rushing, uh, oh yeah, I was on this, I was like in the middle of reading this, grants unsuitable while rushing, is that new? I can't remember. Uh, rules of, I, I'm not f super familiar with his add-ons, so if there's some of these that just aren't new, then sorry. Um, Rizzly Rose of Elfsaurus within 8 meters for 3 seconds after a slam. Increases maximum slam duration by 1 second. Um, uh, increases turn rate while rushing. Just like every time after rushing. Increases turn rate while rushing. Maximum max slam duration increases maximum rush tokens by one because time to, rechar to recharge rush token space so target location ultimately facing the air survivor within 16 meters of slam uh because re rush recovery time because move speed while rushing by 50 percent gain 100 percent yeah so yeah not the uh, same amount different and then you know billy had uh has new icons which i was freaked out about and then uh, you know, the menu, as you saw, is now different. Uh, so now there's, like, the play button. You can do whatever. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, and then, so, supposedly, there's a new server. And I saw them in the menu before I started the video because it had to show up right there before I even got a chance to start recording. So, dang. Revision pack. So, uh, yeah, Alan Wake. Apparently, we're getting another, um pretty big name I, I guess I'd say uh character again this is like the fourth one in a row well like I got fourth, fourth chapter in a row I should I should say I can't speak words uh so yeah Alan Wake best let me make sure I'm recording best-selling author knows what it means to push back into the darkness his perks champion of light boon illumination and deadline first new boon perk in months Years, even. Well, years plural? No, but it's been a, over a year? Yeah. Er, it, it's been a while. It wasn't until like, the, yeah, the last chapter that had a boon was uh, Sarko Rising. The first chapter of 2022, which uh, is two years ago, which I don't like saying that. That, that feels wrong, but is what it is, I guess. Um, another boon that feels weird because it again it wasn't and that was like that came out in like March or something of 2022, so it's been it's been a while. And then deadline makes flashlights more powerful. Uh, huh? Flashlights more powerful. Oh God, you why? Real chests and generators that number of perks kind of do that stuff anyways, but okay. And create more frequent skill checks. That's helpful for some things. Weird. Wait, let me. Whoa! <laughs> this face looks. Hold on, his face. Hold on, hold on. No, it's 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 the the hair is mainly different. All right. So, champion of light. The glow of the flashlight looks a little different. Feels a little warmer. While you're holding a flashlight, this perk activates. 
When you are shining a flashlight, you have 50% haste? Huh? When you successfully blind the killer, they also gain a 20% hindered for six seconds? This effect cannot stack? Then this perk goes on cooldown for 60 seconds? No, 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 no. What? What? No! What? <laughs> ha! This is gonna be awful as killer! Oh, God, no. That... Oh, child. So when you shine a flashlight, you get a bunch of haste. A crap ton of haste. And if you successfully blind the killer, they get hindered. I ah. That's not bad, but that's not I'm not gonna like playing against that. Oh man. Boon illumination. Oh wait, was there a quote? Ah crap. Sorry. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it. Willing it to stop coming any closer. Hmm, okay. Boon illumination. Your keen insight is something best shared with others. Press and hold the ability one button near a dull or hex totem to bless it and create a boon totem. So, yeah, 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 yeah. As far as inside your boon totem's range, see the aura of all chests and all generators in blue. If you have a lit boon totem, you cleanse or bless totems 10% faster? Oh! Okay! That's not too bad. I. I don't think. Going bless one at a time. All cut moon perks are active on your boot totem. A shift in reality. Heavy with hidden meanings. Departure. Return. All right. Deadline. Desperation creeps in and you push yourself to work harder. This perk activates when you're injured. Okay. Skill checks appear 10% more frequently when repairing or healing and appear in random places. Oh, no. The penalty for missing skill checks is reduced by 50%. Oh, that, that, that's a, oh, that's not too bad. And I had been one desperate situation after another departure. Wait, also departure? This one's return? I don't know. Um, revision pack. So, why does it say pack? Revision pack. I don't quite... I don't know. Kind of weird. I mean, obviously, I don't have... I can't, like, play, you know, a match. I mean, I guess I could play, try to play some forever, but that won't be happening right now uh, for a bit. But maybe later on, I might try to make a video to me playing the boy. Um, and then let's, uh, let's look at his... Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. 13 years ago, best-selling author Alan Wake disappeared from the town of Bright Falls under mysterious circumstances. Uh, while the outside world moved on, Alan was trapped in the dark place, a strange dimension where Alan's stories came to, or come to life. Also, just as a, a, a warning or whatever, I know basically nothing about Alan Wake, period. I know the name. Uh, I know there's, I guess, weird stuff that happens or whatever. Uh, and that's about it. I literally know like nothing about it. So if nothing ma makes sense to me or is interesting to me and you do like Ellen Wake, sorry. If you, if anyone who does know or like Ellen Wake and um, anything you care to explain, feel free. Um, sitting before his typewriter, Alan wrote page after page as time seemed to stand still outside the window of his cabin. He conjured terrors and demons from the darkest recesses of his mind in the hope of writing the one story that could lead to his escape from the dark place. Only then would Alan be able to return to the real world and reunite with his wife, Alice. But escape never came, and after an eternity of writing, Alan lost all hope of ever returning to the life he once knew. And then he remembered something. One of the first scripts he wrote for the show Night Springs so many years ago. A tense supernatural thriller he called Dead of Night, but a group trapped in a nightmare world. The episode ended with all of them escaping by 
by Alan struggled to remember. His time on Night Springs was ancient history, and Dark Place was a thief of time and memories. The only solution was to recreate the script from memory, as many drafts as needed, until Alan remembered how this episode ended. With every iteration of the script, the Dark Place changed around Alan, placing him in the middle of the action, and every failed ending brought Alan back to the cabin and the typewriter. Undeterred, Alan tried again and again until the ending came to him like a voice whispering in his mind. Alan wrote the final draft and found himself back with his characters, standing before a wall of black fog. Hmm. Looking at the fog sent chills up and down Alan's spine, but he knew he was. this was how the episode ended. He watched his characters pass through the wall of fog, leaving the nightmare world behind. Alan stared down the wall, struck by a realization. The episode had ended on an ambiguous note. Did the characters return home? Did they make it back to their loved ones? Alan couldn't remember what he had intended. He wanted to turn back to start again and just write one more draft. No sooner had thought crossed his mind than he saw a dim light flickering to life deep within the fog. A sign. A way home. After all this time, there it was. Right in front of him. Alan took a deep, trembling breath and entered the fog, never taking his eyes off the light in the distance. Cool. Um... Man. It's weird that we are getting yet another licensed character. Man, the last time we got anything, like, original uh, characters was flipping and transmission back in, uh, uh, what was it? June? Yeah, June. And, like, of last year. And ever since then, license. Which I'm not, I, I'm not complaining about. I'm not saying anything negative about that. I'm just saying it's kind of funny. How that's kind of been how it's, you know, how it's been. I, I, I don't know how to word it properly, but, you know, like, because, you know, first was Nicolas Cage, then the Alien Chapter, uh, then Chucky, and now Alan Wake. Uh, and these aren't, like, small licenses either. I mean, you know, Alan Wake is pretty popular. Again, I know nothing about it, but I know it's popular i mean i've heard about it a number of times um alien i mean obviously that's super popular same thing with chucky and then nicholas cage is a literal real life voice actor or not voice actor just actor hollywood actor um just as a character and he's a, a popular uh actor too just as a character just casually just here you know and now we got Alan Wake. Uh, yeah. Very cool. Man. Um. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really know what to say. Because, again, I can't just play as him. And, uh, but I, I plan on uh, probably later today at some point. Uh, you know, playing playing uh some bot matches as you know billy blight and sadako uh at the very least blight and billy but it'd be good to also mess with sadako and then um and then i'll try to play some like actual like public matches uh survivor ones of course uh to you know play as alan wake I wonder if he has voice lines probably right i like guess his music it's not too, like, dissimilar to, like, you know, the sci-fi ones we got from, like, Ellen and Gabriel. What is different? I mean, I'm excited, though. It's cool to have a uh, have this uh, character now, and you know he he has a I like his design looks very nice, and the perks they don't seem bad really. Um, I mean this one, yeah, this one is like the first one. Uh, this boon totem's first one that like gives you a bonus, like for having a totem, like a boon totem up, uh, even when you know. Uh, even when you're not in it, which is first, and then seeing the auras of uh, chests or generators while you're in it, 
Not bad. Wait, does it linger though? You think that would linger though? Because most of their boon effects linger. All right. So how many boons do we have now? Is that five? Yeah, we got five now. Because also, I mean, Kayla came out with uh, two. Shower step, circle of healing. You know, this one hides your scratch marks. And, uh... Oh, yeah, and then their ores are hidden. Uh, and then circle of healing used to be just be, you know, you just uh, can heal yourself without a medkit or another perk. Uh, and, like, you heal f uh, other people faster and other stuff. But now it's just, you just heal people other other people faster that's that's just, oh yeah and then ninja servers have their or revealed to other people in the range i forgot about that uh and then you know expansional let's when you're in the range you can uh recover faster from in the dying state and then dark three gives you uh haste while you're in it and now we have uh, this where you can see auras while in it of gens and chests uh as well as of course um uh, you know, being able to cleanse and bless f faster when you have one up. Uh, deadline is good for like, like even like challenges, you know, because just in the current current tome that we just had, uh, that's still around, you know, there are like two different challenges, like you know, for getting like three grade skill checks for healing, uh, or doing gens, uh, like when you're doing those things, getting like three great skill checks in one trial, and you know. Having uh, this would have been really helpful and will be helpful in the future because I think, yeah, I just use like hyper focus because uh, it also kind of helps with that kind of thing. Uh, and and then, of course, uh, you know, like this is not happening and uh, other things. But having this, it, it's, it's really nice because, like, you know, once you're injured, like, skill tricks appear more often. Uh, which gives you more chances to get like great skill checks even. Imagine this with hyper focus. I'd be kind of hectic, I, I would imagine. Uh, and then, and then the penalty of missing a skill check is reduced. So, that that's that's really good. That that's that part alone. Well, it says that. In, so I think that applies in general. That or when you're injured. I, I, I'm I'm assuming. Uh, and then there's champion of light. So, I just want to clarify, right? And let me make sure I'm showing things. Okay. I just want to clarify that I don't think that Champion Light is a bad perk. I just think it's going to be kind of annoying and frustrating to go against as killer. That's the only thing. Otherwise, it definitely will be useful. Man, imagine that with also a background player. Imagine the haste you get. You would just be... Like, you could, like, slingshot yourself across the universe. And the fact that when you successfully blind them, they get hindered, I have a feeling, I have a strong feeling, right? Assuming that, um, you know, people end up using this perk a lot, which I'm sure they will. I feel like the, uh, the rate of, uh, killers using Lightborn is only going to skyrocket. Well, and, and you know, the thing is, too, this is big, because when you successfully blind them, they are hindered. They are hindered. That is, um, who Imagine combining this with, like, residual manifest. So, like, can you, like, always, like, for sure, like, find at least one yellow flashlight, but also you can literally cause the killer to be blind and hindered. You can literally give, by blinding them, you can give them two different status effects. And then, like, maybe even, like, background player for, like, saves. Oh, especially for save. Oh, man. Imagine, right? You're a killer. You're picking up Survivor. And then out of nowhere, a background player using Survivor zooms up to you, blinds you. Now you're blind, like, with the status effect. And you're slow. You're hindered. So you can't even fully catch up to the person you were just like picking up let alone the person who was just blinding you because not only do they have background player and can zoom off anyways but they also have the extra 50 percent haste from shining the flashlight oh man honestly this will be really helpful for me though because i suck at like getting to position to get a flashlight blind so having this would would be helpful especially to like readjust 
if you like aren't in the right position to flashlight blinding or already like shining it like you can kind of reposition so i think it's good it's just gonna be frustrating to go against that I, that's my only quote unquote problem with it right that's my only thing otherwise that's not a bad perk i i, I do like it like it is give me some fun things you can do with it as survivor but again going again against as killer is going to be uh kind of rough so again that's the only thing um but yeah uh overall not bad i, I do like having uh alan wake now <laughs> kind of surprised that they actually went ahead and uh you know added another license chapter again i am not complaining whatsoever i'm just saying i am kind of surprised uh in a good way in a good way but yeah he looks good his perks are good as far as i can tell obviously you know in practice you know it could end up that like, only one of these is like really all that useful in the rest but i mean these two at the very least seem pretty good and that's what these they, they all seem good i don't know like a lot of times like when i first looking at perks i'm like oh that seems pretty good and then later on it's like eh not really but like these ones genuinely seem good you know even if they're they might be kind of niche like i don't know you know i don't think they're gonna be like op or meta per se if, if any of these were to come become bleh, bleh. if any of these were to become meta maybe this one or this one I, it's hard to say right i don't know but i think they're all pretty good and they'll be you know giving a reason to have boons again I mean, not saying it was pointless, but obviously, you know, the amount of boons, like, from even the last time I, like, you know, just looking at it, like, for me, right, so I was gone for most of last year, uh, as far as, like, doing stuff with my computer, not by will, uh, but it just was, uh, heavily borked, uh, you know, when I last played before that happened, it was, like, you know, December or something of 2022, you know, even then, I believe um especially before then boons were very prevalent uh especially with circle of healing mainly but also other ones uh but the time i came back like around uh i don't know if i, I didn't start playing dbd again like right away on when i came back uh, when i got my computer back on november november 6th uh but it wasn't super long after that but when i started playing again like i've rarely seen anybody even use a boon and I played a bunch of matches, uh, you know, especially because I was finishing the uh, latest rift for the game, as well as the event uh, when that came out. But yeah, I I rarely ever saw anyone using a boon, even having a boon perk. And I think there's sometimes, or maybe I was just thinking videos I've watched, it's hard to tell, sometimes it kind of blends in my brain. Uh, but I think there's even sometimes where I've, there's been people who have a boon, but they never used it for one reason or another. Maybe, maybe like they brought it like in case they thought they'd need it. So, you know. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. I think it looks good so far. And the changes um, to the killers are pretty good. Billy uh, got the overdrive mechanic, which is uh, seems like it'll be pretty good for him. And he has got some add-on changes. Uh, you know, Blight got some very, very needed um, adjustments to add-ons. And they're not all, like, straight. Like, I mean, you know, these two are just ner straight nerfs. And then uh, life is like this and this. And I think even this. Like, they're nerfed compared to, like, what they were. But they're not bad, right? Uh, so to speak. So, yeah, that's good. And then Sadako is more, more like how she was before she got changed recently you know with a lot of how she functioned um you know she got some add-on changes and she got uh this partly as base kit which is really useful and nice and helpful and what have you uh yeah and then you know the new survivor is really cool and stuff and oh yeah the fof slider hmm I'm gonna have to test that out. Uh, how long is this video? 24 minutes? Um, hmm. 
Yeah, also, there's some perks that got changed, and, uh, oh, Nelly. So, Grim Embrace is one. I, I just need to put in Grim. So now, this is, like, kind of crazy. Say the best is just worse now. Uh, because the percent of, uh, like, that, you know, you get for, like, uh, like decrease so six will basic attack cooldown. The percent is now less for each token, and also when you enter these uh, obsession period, you just that you lose two tokens. So now even with like M two attacks and stuff, you lose tokens. So yeah, that's not fun. Um, wait, that, that those together actually would be pretty nutty. I had some bots. Oh, sorry. You. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, I'm here for the boy. Wait, he's up here, wouldn't he be? Okay, cool, great. I wasn't trying to do stuff. No, not me. What? Man. I just got all that together. Why? All right, so wait, so you can miss? I don't, I am so confused. Anyways, no, Alan Wake was up here, but I was kind of flustered because, you know, a lot was happening. You know what, let's make them all, all oh, right, because it's, yeah, let me just, yeah, you know what? No, I'll just leave it. All right, save that. Okay, uh, it doesn't really... Oh, yeah, they did change Ormon, so I, I guess I'll check it out, although it doesn't seem like for the better for killers, so... Yeah. Uh, did I just press something? I don't know. Uh, see you when it starts. All right, the new land improved for survivor. Ormond, and this at least you know based off what they said. So, oh yeah, playing on ultra graphics is kind of weird. Oh yeah, let me try. Uh, I can't mess with the FOV in a match. All right, well. This is gonna be interesting. No condemned. So uh, I should be able to just teleport. Like, yeah, I can just teleport as much as I want. Ooh! Shut up, Claudette. I'm going for him. Oh, just catch up a tape. I want to hear what you sound like. All right, can I just get it? Don't tell no, my hit. Just let me get a hit, man. Oh, man. It did change the throne up. That's good. Oh, there's so many pallets, man. I haven't gotten to hit him once. Let's chase with him and everything. Stop going to pallets. I just want to hear what you sound like. Get over here. I lost Chase again. What, 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 what do you mean? Oh, man. I'm going to lose like every singular <gasps> gen. That's interesting. I'm not really able to get that like 
guy who, like the actual guy who voices Alan Wake or not. I wouldn't know because I've again never played the games ever in my life, so or even seen gameplay really. Oh, so I'm turning off my TV. What? How was I not close enough? What? Oh, going into the window. How oh, does he not immediately? Wait, where's the window? Oh. Can I seriously not catch up? Dude, I'm right. I'm going as fast as I can. I have bloodlust. Oh my god. Dang. That was kind of extreme. Jeez. Dang, that is kind of intense. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come embrace. Wow, being able to teleport to any team that this is um This is kinda This is kinda naughty. But also you can't, you know, give them condemned, so it doesn't fully matter. Oh, there goes my stacks. Oh, what the heck? You don't have a pallet there, do you? Okay. Wait, oh man, me? No, I, I couldn't. Oh, you don't make it to anything, do you? Nah. Um. So yeah, so. Actually, Psycho is really good for testing the uh, Grim Embrace, because when you move far enough, like this, Blocks every gem for like 12 seconds when you hook up sword for the first time. And it happens all like four times, right? Four times it happens. And then and then you get the normal Grim Embrace uh, where it's like for like what 80 seconds or, or, or something like that. You, uh, you know, every gen is blocked. You hook everyone. Every survivor for the first time. Which is what it was before, right? But now. Now it's also. Now. <laughs> it's, um. Like, also, on top of that. You know. Whenever. You hook someone for the first time and get, you know, one of your sex. You also. Uh, you know. Um, you know, block the, uh, every gen for 12 seconds. So every time you hook, in, uh, a server for the first time and, you know, get your stacks for doing that, you, you get, like, a mini version of the perk, and then once you get all the stacks from every survivor, then you get the full on perk, if that makes sense. You know, t t something to that effect, basically. Um, so yeah, it'll be really useful. We'll go ahead and... Um, yeah, you've got this to work with. I can't really do anything. Besides just running around. Yeah, if I had blood, if I had blood favor, I could probably... Like, having, hitting uh, Alan would have kind of helped me. Oh, yeah, the frame rate is kind of whatever, because I'm playing an Ultra, you know. I wanted to enjoy the... Oh, I don't make it. I'll not unless you do that. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, this is the big stuff. So, how does this work? Is it just... So does it do the normal Grim Embrace thing? Okay. Just so you get the mini Grim Embrace three times, and you get full Grim Embrace on the last hook. I think. I don't know, I, I could be wrong. He is loud. So is it possible for the game condemned? Actually, it looks like they do have condemned. So I think you just have to, they have to have tapes to get condemned anymore. So. Oh, you should have gone for a shack window, buddy. Hey, you know, yeah, I. Would not have worked. Down you go. Ah! Ah! Alright. Nicholas Cage. Get over here. Ah! Uh, I was, thought maybe I could pull off some kind of maneuver. Oh, you are dead. You are dead. I don't know if you're dead dead, but you know. Okay. They're just around here. Oh, hey, I just realized Lori Strode is my obsession. That's pretty fitting, huh? Oh, okay. Dang. I actually hit that. Oh, you, uh... Oh, no, you're dead. Cause I'm right behind you. auras of a TV like people if they're close enough to a TV I should see their aura right yeah no my TV Nicholas Cage how could you how could you do this to me let me guess vault and vault and now you're donezo Uh, basement is right here. Oh, wait, that's probably not. What's the genesis? I think it cooldown anymore is pretty nice. They are. Oh, because that one's off. Yeah. How many stacks of condemned you have? Yeah, you, you, you can notice. It's definitely less. I. Usually the bots go for it like immediately. I hit the wall instead of her. I would have hit that. Oh, that works too.
All right, now for Claudette. Oh yeah, it takes like 20 seconds longer than normal for a TV to turn back on. When the survivor turns it off. Speaking of the devil. Oh. What? I don't know what was happening there. I see what she Do that like costly teleporting as long as you know no, no sword touches them not too bad but yeah i'm gonna test out um blight and the actual you know fov so yeah see you then if i pause oh my gosh i just realized i think i changed the type of recording it is so i can't actually pause it does that mean that i actually wasn't pause? oh my i'm sorry there's, there's a thing I was trying to, uh, do, uh, that wasn't working out, which is why I did that, so... Um, I don't know... What all is and isn't good for him... Uh, let's try Grim Embrace again. That wasn't, doesn't seem too bad. Uh, and then, like... <sighs> oh, this is... This is a... Uh, yeah. Something that I like to use. I know it's not, like, the best or anything, but... Also, let me... Give you, uh your perks good sir okay flipping i don't know i'll just leave it at that the manifest should be it toward the end right yep I can't read what it says, but I'm just gonna, yeah. Alright, um... I mean, I guess it wouldn't be bad to do that. Alright.
I forgot. I literally... Why do I always do this? Why? Why? Man, if only I could remember to not screw things up. All right, I'm just going to go maximum. So this is apparently Shadowborn lengths. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, Shadowborn makes it so that when you get blinded successfully, uh, you get haste. So I, I guess that's a counter active to um you know alan's perk i guess so they probably had that in mind but even still i don't know it's yeah i don't know Okay, so I don't especially need rush tokens now. Right? Is this the right? Oh, yeah. I suck. But I can just go again. But now I have a longer cooldown. Oh yeah, the FOV is uh, eh, not too bad. Can't complain. Wow, it's so much like. See so much more. Like it's the thing is like I don't dislike um. Shadowborn, like well, old Shadowborn, I guess. I just didn't want to take a perk slot for something like that. Wait, they can cleanse my my, my uh, totem faster. I just remember that. I don't even remember that as being a thing to think about. This is fun. Being able to infinitely rush just whenever, kind of like the Sadako add-on. You can just teleport as much as you want, as long as the server doesn't turn off your TV. And for this one, it's just as long as you don't hit someone, you can rush as long as you want. And the purple add-on makes it so that, uh, like every time I rush, it's uh, like further. No, 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 no. Like uh, I can like rush further before I get you know fatigued. I'll, let it, I'll try to, like, at some point, let him do it just just even once, you know, like... Oh, do you think I can't see you? Supposed to get like fully fatigued. Oh, that's the purple add-on coming in clutch. Dude, this this air testing add-on is so fun. But did I ever get far enough away for from embrace? There's not a time limit, right? Oh yeah, right. I can't rush yet. Hello, anybody in here? And now I just have to rely on just normal gameplay. Wait, I'm actually gonna put rapid brutality. That wouldn't be too bad, right? Uh, 
should be able to make that, I think. Yeah, be able to like just mindlessly rush without worry because I can just rush as much as I want. That's actually really good and fun and just kind of relaxing. It's a lot of stress out of the light that's normally there for me. I, uh... I think I'm gonna enjoy a blight even more now. I'm not saying I dislike him for, I'm just saying. Oh, dang. Good thing I can just keep going. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, wait. What? Hey that is what I'm talking about. Uh, where is he? Oh, uh, it's gonna. It's gonna run out. Oh man. If I, if I if I knew where he was, then it wouldn't be a problem. Juked me. Where did she go? No, oh, man. No blood fever. Okay, I wasn't gonna make that. All right, well, there goes my powerful, most powerful asset. Good thing I saw this one. Oh, I, I almost made that. I almost made that. I actually almost made that. That would have been the sickest thing. This is gonna. I feel like this is a little busted. The, the, it doesn't. I don't like. It doesn't feel like it's like the strongest thing ever. But like at the same time, you can just rush. Like obviously, you have a long cooldown. But like, the, I feel like the cooldown isn't that long. Like it. If it, it could be want longer if it wanted to. I feel like. Plus having the purple add-on, so like. Like, I, I do need to let him do it one one time so, so that I kind of can test it so it's not just a waste of time and effort and energy and whatnot. Yeah, this is... This is... Relax. Oh, I saw... I just saw... Nicholas Cage! Probably going for the Nicholas save! I... It's fine. Dude. That is crazy. I mean, that is... I mean, a lot of it is because, you know, blight is blight. So, you know, obviously. Um, ooh, Laurie Strode. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be tricky. There's not a lot stopping her from just using the palette. Yeah. Oh, last second. Please tell me I'm still recording. I think I am. Just double double check. Okay, nice. Oh, I'm with my OBS. Stop. Okay. Okay. It'd be nice if I could get a hit. Like a normal hit. Like that. Ooh, that was close.
jingle. I'm not really jingling a lot. I wonder if the sound effects are bugged or... I, I remember it being more noticeable before. Like otherwise. Okay. Actually, I'm curious, right? How far can I rush to? So, supposedly, right? Holy! And if I just wanted to... I could bounce off the wall, I bet you. That is disgusting. That is genuinely vile. How far can you go? I could go anywhere with this purple add-on. And with the iridescent add-on on top of it, I could literally do this infinitely. Keep sliding off every like surface you go toward. Don't worry, you can just keep rushing. And you'll make it eventually. Dude, I was rushing for so long. That add-on, it's good, and it's also, it's so fun. It's so fun. I can't believe how fun that is. So having the FFE slider is a godsend. This is, I, I'm loving this FFE. Again, the only reason why I didn't use like Shadowborn before just because it was a perk and I don't want to, you know, use a perk just for like increased FOV. I see you, Alan Wake. I can't rush. Oh crap. I gotta beat him to uh, check. If I can get my rushes. Dude, this is like actually kind of insanity. I could probably bounce off of the flipping Ormond. Dude, these together are so fun. I this I I might be only able to run these because of how fun these are. And it kind of removes certain frustrations of blight, like sliding off everything and not being able to reach something because of that. Yeah, blind me. Blind me, big boy. Okay, now I'm slow. Oh, 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 man. Oh, he also gets faster when shining it. I mean, we can get going, big boy. Oh, jeez. Well, and I still cat up to him. Oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. I love that. I G I love that. I love that. The iridescent tag and alchemist ring. Before they're just good add-ons, you know, and, and whatever. But now, oh man, infinite rushes until you hit someone with your rush 
and then like being able to rush further like having a longer duration of the rush every time you like do another rush and combining them especially oh it's so fine it's so fine like it's good but more importantly for me generally it's just fun to co be able to constantly bounce around constantly and be able to like have more time to like reach my destination every time i do bounce it's just endless pinball i love it yeah um but this is wrong enough right way too long so i'm gonna leave this here of course um but i really wanted to test out uh, some of the new killers and i'm of course gonna you know in a later video test out billy with his uh overdrive uh and of course play the one and only alan wake uh himself and it's weird saying that saying i'm gonna play as alan wake uh just you know uh just because uh yeah and that's my plan uh sorry for this being along but i just wanted to play some matches on top of you know actually getting to look at alan wake and some other stuff uh, so yeah, sorry again about the uh, last video cutting off. Uh, it's supposed to all be one video, but it is what it is. And, um, and yeah, hope you, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, it was really fun getting to test out everything. Uh, well, not everything, but it was, it was fun testing out the things I did test out. And the FOV slider uh, was uh, like that. I'm probably going to have it at max, honestly, from now on. So, my uh, clear matches are going to be pretty different for a while. But besides Chucky, because him and survivors are excluded from the FOV uh, effect, uh, if you will, you know. Because uh, survivors and Chucky are both in uh, third person, so, you know, they already kind of have the uh, advantages, you know, of more FOV, so to speak. I, point is uh yeah but every other you know killer besides chucky uh you know can be affected uh so now you no longer have to run shadowborn and you probably never will again because it isn't amazing now it's not awful but now it just gives you haste when you're blinded uh so and it's 10 percent um so you so so even if you get have even if you have shadowborn right even if you have shadowborn against uh Ch champion of light uh i can't see because it's borked um you still are 10 percent slower so instead of being 20 percent slower you're just 10 percent slower so you're still hindered. You're just less hindered. And then, of course, against, you know, someone not using that perk uh, and you get blinded, then you're 10% faster. Uh, so, you know, uh, it, well, who knows? Uh, but anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please make sure you do all the algorithmic garbage and uh, check out our videos if you're interested. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely and fantastic day, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.